Hi, everybody. It's June 29, 2021. It is very hot still here in Montana. It is 1014 p.m. And it's, well, not completely dark yet. I think we have another half hour before it gets dark. But at least the sun has gone down. Wow. So I just want to, you know, all right. It's happening again. And I've seen this now several times, but, you know, the repeat of comments under different names. So I think this is the comment that this user, YouTube user, uh, actually wrote. Why don't you fill a large plastic bottle with water and freeze it solid in the freezer? Hold it against your forehead and wherever it helps. You can even get two. One for each side. It's the only thing to do in a hundred degree heat. It works. Trust me. Why do you think I've not done something similar? Yeah. So, unable to watch this video. It has been completely blurred out. Just wiggly lines like an old TV. Anybody else? 629 at 830 p.m.? Okay, interesting because yesterday I got an email from a subscriber who told me that he can't watch my videos because this is what he gets on Chrome. If you're using Google Chrome, you might get that when you try to watch a video of mine. He sent me two captures and yeah, this was a video that I I just posted yesterday. Anybody else experiencing this? If you go to another browser, you might be able to watch the videos. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's upsetting. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm still getting that, um, yeah, another. And I know Sharon didn't write this. Same comment, unable to watch this video. Um, and I'll come on. This is, this is the page that has all of the comments from all videos. However, I've been noticing the comments that I see on this page, if I go to the video, the uh, particular video, there's a lot more comments that I'm not seeing here. So why don't you fill a large plastic bottle? Uh, it, this has been, I mean, the repeat of this is a lot. There's a lot. Um, unable to watch this video. And no, it's the same comment. Not everybody writing exactly verbatim the same comment. Uh, why don't you fill a large plastic bottle? All right. You, you want to know what the heat was? At when I, I had to go to Kalispell. That's where the shopping takes place. And when I got back, it was... 106 degrees, and this was at 6.15 p.m. Tuesday. So, it topped the high today. Tomorrow, 104. Friday, 101. 98. Saturday, 97. Sunday, 94. Monday, 86. We're going to have to wear sweaters. Okay, this is pretty intense, and uh, look at the sky which I, I took this video just a few minutes ago. I don't know, no, like 15 minutes ago. Microwaves, black carbon dust. And black carbon dust is a very inexpensive material to increase atmospheric heat. Yes, I have videos on my weather modification playlist uh, one that is titled 
all you need to know about how man can create heat waves. So when I see this black gook in the cloud or just literally just falling in the sky, you know, I know that it may very well be a hot one and if you go to that video, that one in particular, I include all of the documents and you can read what they can do. It's pretty, well, it's interesting, but they're doing it. They're doing it. And, you know, how are your animals doing, guys? Because, you know, I have never seen my cat lie like this. Never. Never. She's like, <sighs> the outstretched legs, you know, she's hot. Yep. So, um, you know, yesterday, the, uh, and this is a toxic sky. It's a toxic sky. And, oh boy. I don't know what happened there. But, it's, a subscriber said to me, because I'm experiencing this heat very differently than I did in South Carolina. I'm having a hard time with it. And I think the subscriber who said that it may be due to the higher elevation, I don't know, but it's a wow. It's just a wow. All right. Um, So yes, it's very hot. And I also got a comment, and now I can't find it because I think when YouTube you know, just starts repeating comments under different usernames, I think I lose a lot of comments, but a subscriber who lives in Oregon left me a comment saying that these are, these are the kind of temperatures that their air conditioners are not um, not made, you know, to just run continuously and not have, you know, problems. So hers, her air conditioner was beginning to have problems and she called, I guess an air conditioner maintenance guy, the date that he could come, July 30th. July 30th. Wow. Supply chain disruption. Okay. A lot of, and, and apparently, a lot of people are having difficulty with their air conditioners. So, if you have one and it's still working and you're surviving this, you're lucky. 105 today. 105. All right. See, Washington, Oregon, they're not used to this. You know, I spoke to my subscriber here, and she said no, that these temperatures are not what Montana, you know, gets. Maybe they have a couple of days during the summer that it's 100, but nothing like what we've been experiencing. So, there's a lot of people dying. Arizona officials investigating 53 deaths as heat-related. Yes. Homeless, elderly, Maricopa County, 50 deaths. 118 degrees. Well, let's see. Blackouts in U.S. Northwest due to heat wave deaths reported. Pacific Northwest. 
Swelters. Spokane, Washington. Rolling blackouts amid heavy power demand. And dozens of deaths in Washington and Oregon. Okay. This is the kind of heat that literally doing anything hurts. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it, it depletes your energy. And, like, when I got back from shopping, bringing, bringing stuff in from the car, I was literally shaking. And, you know, I, I have this slight nausea that just comes and goes and slight headache. I don't feel well. Okay, I'm 62 and I've got a lot of physical stuff, but I can bust through and do what I need to do. What about people who are older than I am and they also suffering from, you know, comorbidities? What about the elderly that don't have air conditioning? I hope everybody's checking on their neighbors. I really do. So 90, uh, I'm sorry, 9,300 Avista utility customers in Spokane lost power on Monday. Um, planned blackouts again for today, Tuesday, for 220,000. Uh, doing it in the afternoon, which is when it's quite hot, but they're trying to limit the outages to one hour per customer. Is that true, Spokane? All right. Well, there's going to be more rolling blackouts. King County, two people died due to hyperthermia, meaning their bodies have become dangerously overheated. 65-year-old Seattle woman, 68-year-old Enumclaw, uh, Washington, another woman. Three men, 51, 75, 77, heat stroke from Everett, Granite Falls, Marysville in Washington. Uh, another four deaths in Puget Sound City. I guess Puget Sound proper. Uh, Bend, Oregon, two homeless people died. Unlike workers in California, Washington State farm workers do not have the right to work shade and breaks amid extreme temperatures. Okay, anyone, anyone who, who is demanding that these farm workers work in the sun in this heat is truly, wow, uh, something's wrong with them. I was off today, so I was helping distribute water and information to the cherry harvesters, a wine grape worker from Sunnyside, Washington, said in a union statement they were struggling, no shade, not even cold water. You know, look, very often it's so hot, it, it, it's so easy to just say, okay, this is a lie, because you're going based on what you would do. There's a lot of sick, I won't curse, um, people out there. So Biden in Wisconsin today, yeah, talking about his infrastructure plan, took note of the Northwest as he spoke about the need to be prepared for extreme weather. Anybody ever believe you'd turn on the news and see it's 116 degrees in Portland? 116 degrees, did he say it whispering? Anybody believe? But don't worry, he went on, but don't worry. There is no global warming because it's just a figment of our imaginations. All right, that's when I'm like, all right. Okay, everybody who listened to Biden, your little leader, your 
liar in chief. You believe him. Don't do the research to find out that it's bull sheet sheet. I didn't say I said sheet like a sheet that you put on a bed. <laughs> well, we have said throughout the years, not just myself, but others, they're going to blast us with heat. They're going to force people to believe in climate change. And they don't understand that man can increase the temperatures. Yeah, man can do that. Okay, so, yeah. How about Vancouver? Let's check it out. More than two dozen deaths in Vancouver area. Three die in Washington Rivers. 200 people treated for heat-related illnesses on Monday in Oregon. At least three people died while swimming in Washington lakes and rivers. In the United States, heat-related hospital visits spiked and several people reportedly drowned while trying to cool off. I guess that that's the three people who died in the river. Don't know, but I think they needed to work that sentence a little bit better because it's almost saying, oh, don't cool off, you'll drown. Turn around, you'll drown. Don't drown, turn around. Interstate 5 in Seattle was closed after heat caused the pavement to buckle. Yes, buckling roads are happening all over. The heat is very, very intense. So, you've got two dozen in Vancouver. I mean... <sighs> Do it. Do the search and then click on the all news after it. View all. Unbelievable. 230 deaths reported in British Columbia. Wow. We have never seen anything like this. Well, more than five. So. Farm worker dies in record heat. Unbelievable. But I have to tell you, I've never experienced anything like this. Never. Ever. But I look at that sky, and I know. We are a global warming now responsible. Look, I can't, I can't take it, man. The lying is just, well, lava fire. Siskiyou, Siskiyou County. Thousands evacuated. Latest on that fire in Siskiyou County, and Yes, and now as you just mentioned, we're hearing that one man is dead, possibly being thought shot by authorities as he was in the evacuation zone, potentially trying to protect some marijuana grows. There are several in that rural area of Siskiyou County. In the meantime, that fire continues to rage. It has exploded in size, now encompassing more than 20 square miles. 10,000 people are under mandatory evacuation orders this morning. The intensity of the fire triggered a fire NATO, which happens when smoke, fire, and dirt are whipped together, creating a rotation vortex of flames. It's burning in the Shasta Trinity National Forest and has already destroyed several homes in a subdivision. Firefighters trying to hold the line a few miles northeast of the town of Weed, that is at northeast of Lake Shastina. The lava fire, one of four fires sparked by lightning last Friday, and it has grown exponentially over the past 48 hours, now encompassing more than 13,000 
10,000 acres. The winds overnight pushed flames through the tinder dry forests and brush. It is now only 20% contained and it is threatening a number of small communities there in that area. Right now, those people who were forced from their homes have no idea when they'll be able to go back. Of course, we're going to keep an eye on this lava fire for you. Back to you. And our All of you worried about the fires, Washington, Oregon, California, my heart really goes out to you. I, I don't even know what to say, but you know, p people don't want to do the research to find out what's happening to all of us and yeah I've heard from a number of you who are really uh, very anxious about this heat and what they may bring on well it's not just the, the Northwest but Arizona road closures state route 87 is closed that is wildfire fight continues fire crews working around the clock battling more than a dozen fires still burning in arizona good evening thanks for joining us for 12 news at six we'll check in on the sun's run for the nba championship in just minutes but we start with the latest on two major wildfires burning in our state that you need to know about the backbone fire and the Raphael fire the backbone fire burning near strawberry is causing some new road closures State Route 87 is closed. That is north of Strawberry to Lake Mary Road. State Route 260 between Camp Verde and State Route 87 is also closed, along with US 191 south of Pine. Now, the good news is evacuation orders have been lifted for the folks living in Strawberry and Hunts Ranch. Those people have been away from their homes since last week. The Backbone Fire has burned almost 41,000 acres and is about 43% contained. The Raphael Fire, which has been burning for more than a week, has scorched more than 77,000 acres and is now 48% contained. This one is burning just outside of Prescott and was sparked by lightning. We're also tracking other fires that are burning across the state. The Bear Fire near the Arizona-New Mexico border has now burned 21,000 acres and there is no containment. These are just a few of the active fires that are burning in our state. You can find a map of the current fires burning in Arizona on 12news.com. And I'm not sure which fire, but several homes have been decimated. So getting back to that uh, lava fire. <clears throat> Police kill man near California pot farms evacuated. Now... This is no joke. It's in Weed, California. Weed, California. So officers shot and killed a man who pulled a gun as they tried to keep him out of a complex of marijuana farms, weed farms, in an area of far northern California where thousands of people are ordered to evacuate as a wildfire rages during the heat wave. So somewhere in this article I read that apparently he was in a car or a truck and then pulled the gun. But, you know, I guess cops just don't know how to shoot an arm or a leg. They just shoot to kill now. And frankly, if he pulled a gun, his farm may have been going up in smoke and it was a uh, suicide by cop. This sounds very strange. But really? Weed California pot farms. Okay. Did they change that name or did they select weed to grow their pot? Their weed? So here's a fire map. Got a lot of fires. I will link below. And you can click on this and find out what's going on. Um, 
Man, oh man. I can't imagine how you guys feel in this area because I'm nervous for you. I really... So, there's so many. And the, uh, this is hard to work. Um, but all, and I clicked on a lot of them, all of them have been just updated today. So when I look at the number of fires that are either, you know, many of them are contained as well. Ay, ay, ay. This one in Florida, 7,700 um, acres, 35% contained. But, I mean, uh, Raphael Fire, updated 29th, 7 o'clock. It's 72% contained, which is good. And here's another one, 90%. Okay, so don't, you know, get all worried when you see all of this. Um, many are very, very small and but It is concerning, you know, and to see, because I've come on these maps before and I've seen they still have the icons for a fire that was put out two months ago. So anyway, um, no, I don't think that these are much, but it's supposed to be a wildfire map. All right. Uh, and when I, you know, did the same thing, the view all for the wildfires. Oh, wildfires now burning in California. Colorado wildfires. The muddy slide, this Sylvan fires. Arizona wildfire season worse than usual. Over 453,000 acres burned so far for 2021. Historic heat wave, extreme drought. Now, what would people do if they knew that they were being attacked? Now, what would people do if they realized that this drought well, you listen to the guy in Texas, right? That director of the uh, Texas Weather Modification Association, now former, but uh, yeah, we can make it rain. Well, why aren't they making it rain? And you know what is really upsetting too? Most people do know they cloud seed to make rain. Ah, but there's hardly any clouds. Oh, well, they could make the clouds. Okay, that gets a little complicated for them. But, yeah, that's another interesting thing. Most of my time in Montana, it has been just full cloud coverage until the 100 plus degrees. No clouds anywhere. So... And Biden, Biden's going to be talking to Newsom about these fires. I think that they should have been in conversation for a long time. But it, it's, it's not good. Well, if you want to know 14... 14 astonishing facts about the blistering heat wave that is absolutely frying the Northwest right now. Click on the link below. Heat wave is more rare. This one, this heat wave, 
more rare than a once in a 1,000 year event, CBS News, some expert. Um, there is only a one, one in 10,000 plus chance that a heat dome of this magnitude could form over the Northwest. Hottest temperature ever recorded in Portland, Oregon. 107 degrees. Saturday it was 108. Sunday it was 112. Sunday was actually melting streetcar power cables. The projected high temperature for today or Monday was 113. Eugene, Oregon, 111. Salem, Oregon, 113. Vancouver, Washington, 112. 104. Seattle, Sunday, causing sidewalks, roads to warp and buckle. Everson, Washington. Millions upon millions of people living in the Northwest do not have air conditioning. In fact, even in Seattle, the percentage of people with air conditioning is well under 50% because they didn't need it. Uh, lit in British Columbia, 116. Wow. Okay. Um, just want to show you this. Germany. And this apparently is Switzerland. Back to Germany. Thunderstorms have hit Germany and torrential rain has poured down on southern and western parts of the country, leading to dozens of accidents and hundreds of firefighter operations. In Bavaria, some villages were flooded, including Mumlingen, near Frankfurt, where streets were completely covered by water, and mud and many basements had to be pumped dry by firefighters, German news agency DPA reported on Tuesday. We're back to, well, I'm not sure, is this Switzerland or is this Germany? I asked because the first video uh, that was Germany included this. So I don't know, but whatever, it's bad, very bad.
Germany. Well, you can bet that that did damage. Oh, well, this is Switzerland. Yeah. Haven't you seen that here in America? I don't understand why. People include these things so early in, before the end, and so you can't even see. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, B um, Austria. His windshield got it. The windshield is needs replacing. How about Hong Kong? Heavy torrential rains lashed parts of Hong Kong, triggering landslides in many places which led to traffic and suspension of activities. Millimeters. Precipitation was particularly heavy on the small islands of Hong Kong, including Lantau and Lama, where rainfall exceeded 150 millimeters. And I guess it's just a figment of your imagination that China is conducting weather modification. Large sinkhole opens up in New Orleans. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Sharice Gibson. A large sinkhole has opened up on the levee along the New Orleans lakefront. The flood protection authority is now trying to figure out how to fix the problem. Paul Murphy joins us on the lakefront with the story. Given that we're in the middle of hurricane season, it's disconcerting. A very concerning to neighbors. As you can see, the Orleans Levee District Police put up barricades around that sinkhole near the top of the levee here. The Flood Protection Authority is now trying to determine why this sinkhole suddenly appeared. But the authority's engineering director told me he doesn't believe the hole compromises the integrity of the levees that run along this stretch of Lakeshore Drive. These levees are the last line of defense between New Orleans neighbors and... Now, much to my surprise, I recognize this. I walked along here. 2013, I went down to look at New Orleans, and there are so many homes with those X's, you know, from Katrina, and they're 
just sitting vacant. And then you walk along here and you see these homes and they are friggin' mansions. It was surreal. So, uh, do you trust the authorities that say, oh, well, we don't think that that affects the levy? I don't know, but birds are also still dying and we don't know why. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, it's a mystery. Birds suddenly dying, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana. How many times have I included one of these in my videos? Oh, scientists, they're scratching their heads. Could be due to the toxicity level of our environment today. Perhaps also those extremely, uh, I mean the uh, electromagnetic frequencies. It's, um, they're scratching their heads. All right, all links are below, please. Everybody prepare for anything and, oh, I just want you all to be safe. Just be safe. Ciao, guys.